in a matter of weeks, hundreds and thousands of young people will be leaving school for the last time, confronted with the prospect of sorting out a job and career for themselves. For some, it will mean endless frustration. For many, it may well mean an uninteresting and unadventurous mundane task of one kind or another. But for the chosen few who've shown great potential, this could mean the beginning of great things. Our story concerns an example of this latter group. And this particular example brings us to Child's School at Clebury Mortimer in Shropshire. It's a modern, up-to-date secondary modern school, but it has traditions which takes it back over a couple of centuries. And like most schools of long standing, these traditions are well rooted and it can look back upon its sporting as well as its scholastic achievements. Last term, in the sporting field, the emphasis seemed to be on soccer through the achievements of one of its senior pupils, Lionel Martin. Now, before we meet everybody else who is going to uh, tell us what's going to happen to Lionel, let's meet him himself and find out just exactly how he feels about this prospect. Lionel, let's begin at the beginning. How old are you? I was 15 on May the 15th of this year. Now, you're leaving school at the end of this term and you're going to start training to become a professional footballer. When did this interest in soccer start? Well, when I was very young, about five, I think. Mm -hmm. I took an interest then, started kicking and all of that. Yes. Is training. it only confined to soccer or do you take interest in other sports? Oh, I take interest in cricket, mm. sometimes in athletics. Now, great ambition. Well, to play for England in the World Cup, I think. <laughs> I might have known. All right, Lana, would you like to go and get changed for the practice match and we'll see you later on? Yes. In the meantime, we'll go and meet Lionel's mother and father, who've come here to the school to watch a practice house match, which the headmaster has very kindly laid on, especially for us. Mr. and Mrs. Martin, sorry to disturb your cover. Lionel seems a very enthusiastic boy about this football. Um, is it something that's in the family blood, Mr. Martin? I would say so, yes. Um, I was amateur footballer, pretty good. And my father before that was, you see. Mm. And uh, we want Lionel to uh, so you're take it on from there. Quite pleased about the fact that he's keen on professional yes. football. Mm. What does Mum think? What sort of a lad is he at home? Oh, he's very quiet boy at home, but all sport, you know. Is it? Yes, what, ever since he was a... Ever since he's been a little boy, it's all sport. Not yeah. just football, sports of all yeah, kinds? All sport of all kinds, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, the moment of decision must be coming in a few weeks because a number of professional clubs are after him. Who is going to make the decision? Well, we shall leave it to Lionel, uh, whichever club he cho chooses to go to. Uh, Does this mean to. that the clubs have approached Lionel and not you? Have they been to see Lionel only? Yes, I would say that, yeah. But we shall leave it to Lionel to make his own decision which club he, he wants to go to. But, but you will advise him, of course. Mr. Stubbs, just before you kick off, could I delay you for a few minutes? Certainly, yes. How long have you been sportsmaster here? Uh, five years now. How long have you had Lionel under training? Uh, four years. How does he rate? What, what sort of prospects do you think he's got as a professional footballer? Oh, I, I think he'll get right to the top. England. Do you? I do, is yes. It, is it easy to say, to, to look at a boy at the age of 15 and say that this boy can go to the top? Because such a lot of things can happen on the way, can't they? Well, it isn't easy to say, but you, you can recognise the potential. Yes. And what happens then is up to these clubs that take him, I should mm. think. How do you yourself personally feel about professional football as a career for young men? Oh, I think it's a wonderful career. I wish I was younger myself. <laughs> I do. So you don't think there's a great deal of insecurity involved? No, 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 not at all. Not these days, anyway. No. You see, at the age of 15, they go into this game and they don't have time to train for a trade or any other profession. And it means that if they don't make a go of it and they don't really hit the high yes, spot, yes. Uh, they're in trouble. Well, they, 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 they're young enough. They, they enter this profession yes. young. Mm -hmm. If they don't make the grey, well, these clubs would know it by the, the first 12 months. And he's still young enough then to uh, come out of the game and, and take a normal yes. profession. Have you had the advantage of seeing any lads go through your hands and become professional footballers or professional oh, sportsmen? Oh, yes, yes. Yes, I've um, Keith Ripley that's with uh, Peterborough. Mm -hmm. 
and young Stokes that's with us, Huddersfield Downey was in my district team when I was up north, mm. uh, young Deakin with Bolton Wanderers, and they all seem very happy with it. Well, let's hope you'll repeat your success this time. Mr. Well, Stubbs. I sincerely hope Thank so. you very much indeed. Would you just like to go and kick off? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Taylor, could you drag your eyes away from the game for a moment? I certainly could. Very well, good. Mm. The Midlands famous football clubs, Aston Villa. I understand you're only one of about eight professional clubs who have shown interest in Lionel Martin's potential as a footballer. What is there about this boy that makes him such a focus of attention? Well, the boy has a terrific potential. He has a lot of ability. He's very well balanced. He wants to get in the game. He's keen. He's probably put a lot of work, hard work in at practice. Uh, probably a fanatic, which is what every club in the country is looking for. Yeah. And uh, there's no doubt in the future he'll probably progress a great deal with this ability. Fifteen seems a very young age. How sure can you be, when you see a lad with this potential, that he will become a first-class footballer? Uh, well, we can't be sure, definitely. Nobody can predict uh, his future promise. He'll probably improve. He'll get a lot of coaching, training, uh, but, but it's as true far as, as predicting that uh, he's going to make the grade, it's impossible. It's true that there's an element... Well, I should say he's had a lot of sales talk from different clubs, <laughs> but there's only one person who can decide, and that's himself. He's got, as well as the clubs wanting him, he's got to want the club, which is very important. And Today's sportsmen are tomorrow's legends, as the annals of every sporting literature testify. One day, they could include the name of Lionel Martin. <laughs>